Hello lovely prackies. I hope everyone's week is off to a cracking start. So I am here to clarify a few things about um, the equipment that you'll need for the workshop and also um, obviously this is the equipment that you'll go on to use in your in your practice after the workshop. So um, if you if you need to go out and buy anything uh, if you don't already have it, then you will 100% be using it in your practice and in your clinic after the workshop. So um, it is not something that's going to be sitting and gathering dust. As I said, this is this workshop is super practical and it's stuff that you're going to go on to use. Okay, so I've had a few questions about this um, and I want to clarify. So the first thing that I am going to ask you to bring is your uh, blood pressure kit. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing um, obviously the difference between taking um, manual blood pressure and using the electronic kind of like cover up and press start um, and yeah and what and what that means so it's going to be really important because we're going to get really good and we're going to refine the practice of using um, the manual blood pressure kit so the blood pressure kit that you'll be wanting to bring is your stethoscope and your cuff so you can actually get these from, um, there's a great shop online called medshop.com.au and they, um, they basically have an entire mind-boggling range of all of these things. I actually tell people, unless you are really going in to specialise in, um, in heart sounds and sort of maybe work side by side with a cardiologist or something like that or really specialise in heart sounds and things like that, or you're going to be listening and getting really into the nitty gritty of listening to respiratory sounds, you do not need a cardiologist grade um, stethoscope. Yeah, they are the ones that pick up those like finer, finer details in the heart and lung sounds. And as I said, unless you're really going to be specialising in that, you you need your ba your basics. So you know, once again, if you're a little bit strapped for cash, the student the student ones are are adequate for for what we're going to be doing. And if you've got a little bit more to play around with, then I suggest going for like the Litman sort of. Um, like regular ones but as I said unless you're specializing in those uh, cardiology or respiratory areas then you don't need those those other ones okay the uh, the cuff size so um, obviously you know the cuff is the thing that goes around our arm and we pump it up and then we let it out and we get the blood pressure as I said we'll be going through all of this and we'll be getting some great great practice time and I'll get a chance to kind of talk you through it as well uh, so cuffs. So obviously there is, um, it, once again, in, if you're going to specialize in weight loss and, and that's something that's like a, that's your jam, then I would suggest getting um, a, a cuff for obese arms because they're very different and the obese arm is actually a very different shape. And when you're doing blood pressure with a normal adult size, it can give you a false reading. So there is um, normal adult, there is child, and there is um, the cuff for the obese arm. So um, yeah, obviously come prepared with an adult size, the regular adult size. If you are specializing in children, um, in paediatrics, then obviously I'm going to tell you to um, invest in a child size cuff. And then if weight loss is your jam, then, you know, using the cuff for the obese arm is going to be something you will definitely want to invest in as well. A thermometer. <laughs> now we're going to be talking about uh, temperatures and Obviously, you know, we can we think about temperatures, uh, taking the temperature as being super simple, but actually what we consider to be the normal temperature with the oral versus auxiliary, which is armpit, uh, is actually um, slightly different. So we'll be discussing that on the day. Uh, there is a number of different thermometers. You can get like full little Star Trek ones that, that um, zap across the forehead and take it that way or through the air. Um, zapping into the air to take it. Uh, I don't actually like them the best. I, I, oh, I don't dislike them, but put it this way, if someone's got an ear infection, then that's order, or even like inflammation around the outer ear, then that's going to pick up on that and there's going to be, it's going to give you an, um, a higher reading than maybe what the core temperature actually is. 
Uh, so, you know, your good old digital, you know, nine and ten dollar thermometers from the chemist can be really good ones to get started with. And also, um, if you want to do oral temperature in your clinic, then as well, I suggest that you invest in the plastic sheaths that cover them because then you just pull it off, chuck it away and you're ready to go. Thermometers. Okay, reflex hammer. Now we're going to be using reflex hammers. Um, we're not uh, we're not going into the nitty gritty of of neurolo neurology because once again, unless you're going to sort of go and um, unless you're going to go and specialize in that, what we're doing is identifying red flags really and opening up a conversation. So um, nevertheless, we are going to be using them. Um, we're going to be using them for listening for different percussion um, techniques and obviously for checking a few reflexes and things like that. Now, it's really interesting because the reflex hammer conversation is there's a million different reflex hammers. Um, the, the one that you actually want is the big cheap one. It's like got a really big long white stick and a big black bell end. And the why you want that is because you can actually get some really good traction with it and it tends to bounce off the tendons and um, hit the and stimulate reflex action quite well as opposed to the dinky little ones the little metal ones which are actually a lot more expensive yes so that's reflex hammers your pen torch again pen torches um, can I know med shops got them for about five dollars uh, in their shop they are they are um, incredibly good for looking in mouths. We're going to be looking in mouth cavities. We're going to be looking um, at pupil reactions and things like that. These are short, snappy things that we can just get so much information from, looking in the tongue, looking at the back of the throat, all sorts of things. Um, I, once again, it's really interesting because um, the, the biggest thing about getting your pen torch is that you don't want it LED. So whatever you do, you just make sure that it's not an LED pen torch because that is the that is the one that actually does the damage to the retina of the eye. So that's that's super important. If you happen to have an LED one or that's all that's available, we can still use it for pupil reactions. It's just a bit trickier. It just means that you have to sort of shine it to the side of the eye as opposed to kind of at the pupil. But, you know things to work around. But you know, if you're going out to buy one, it's best to just sort of get the one that you really want, right? Okay, so the other things that you need to get, you need to get your blood, your blood pressure kit, you need to get your thermometer and the sheets, uh, if possible. You need to bring your reflex hammer and you need to bring a pen torch. Um, we have got Med Shop on board as our sponsor so um, they are putting together little goodie bags with lots of different bits and pieces and um, yeah so that's going to be really fun so everything else is going to be supplied and yeah it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun so I'm going to pop the link up again so you can uh, click through because the early bird pricing I think it goes for about another week um, yeah, so if you've got any questions at all, let me know. All right, have a good day.